Excellent, the last video in a row uh, concerning multiplying uh, with fractions. And now I've written down two mixed numbers. Yeah, 2, 1 over 8, multiply that by 1, 3 over 4. And I'd like you to think about that. How will you do this? Because so far we multiplied fractions with fractions and fractions with whole numbers. And we've said, well, we just multiply those uh, numerators with each other and we multiply the denominators. And then we make sure we simplify our final answer. But, but what about now? What about mixed numbers? What would you do? Now, I think it's a very wise idea to turn those mixed numbers into improper or top-heavy fractions first. Do you agree with me? Because if I do so, then I can have a fraction times a fraction, and multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators with each other. Yeah. So let's 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 find some improper or top-heavy fractions. Two, one over eight, sixteen. So seventeen over eight. I explain in more detail how to find um, the top-heavy fraction. Uh, in a different video, eh? so I'm not going to talk too much about that now. Times 1 3 over 4, that is 1 times 4 is 4 plus 3, that is 7 over 4, 7 quarters. And now I see again a fraction multiplied by a fraction, so that equals, and I don't have to change anything, eh? I don't have to manipulate anything, I multiply those numerators with each other, 7 times, uh, sorry, 17 times 7. Ooh, that is 17 plus 14, 9, it's 119. And the denominator, 8 times 4, equals to 32. And of course, as I expected, my answer is also a top-heavy fraction. The numerator is greater than the denominator, and I always have to simplify my final answer. I take care in my workings. 119 divided by 32. How many times does 32 fit into 119? Yeah, perhaps you have difficulties with that. It is three, by the way, but perhaps you want to find out, well, 32, mm, 64, mm, 96, um, 128. Oh, that is too much. So it's going to fit in three times. Yeah, so I can take three whole ones out. And then what is my remainder? Well, four and 19, so 23 over 32, yeah, and 23 over 32, that cannot be further simplified because that is a prime actually, and I cannot divide 32 by 23. So that is my final answer. A little bit of a weird answer, I agree. Um, so always check your workings there properly, that's why we write it down. Change it into a top heavy fraction 16, 17 over 8. For 7 over 4, you multiply the numerators 70 plus 49 is 100.